In this video you'll be learning how to install ULX for your Gary's Mod 13 server. So this is very easy and most of the time people make a huge fuss about getting it because apparently it's so complicated but it isn't and I will show you why it's not complicated in this video. So you need these two folders, the ULib and the ULX folder. There are two ways to get these, one's the SVN way, and those SVN links are in the description box below, but the other way is the non-SVN way, so so you'd click the non-SVN link, which will bring you to this page, and once you're here, you'd hit this zip with the cloud and the arrow pointing down, and uh, that would download this entire repository, I guess, the Ulysses repository, and once you have it, you'd simply just double click that folder go inside and uh, extract the ULX and ULIP folder into your desired directory. So once you've done this, you want to go to your add-ons folder for your Gary's Mod server. So I'm going to be doing this on a dedicated server, um, but if you do not have a dedicated server, um, just it, it'll be the same thing. So just move him to your add-ons folder and as you can see I've already done so right here and then um, actually before you move them through there move them to your add-ons folder you might want to update your server and then once your server is updated you'd move them in and then uh, you'd launch it so we're going to go and launch it right now um, the reason you have to restart your server after you've installed the ULX admin mod is because new directories are created in your data folder which include all your admins and stuff so um, before like if you didn't restart the server you lib the ULX and the ULX underscore logs folder wouldn't be there so that's why we had to restart it so once you've restarted it um, and given yourself admin you'd have these four text documents and in here you would basically manage your bands create new groups um, add new users to to become admins on your server so I will not go into depth on how to use these folders since I will just be adding myself as admin through the console which is the fastest and the easiest way to add yourself as admin in your server so let's go and connect there it is there's our server so we'll just double click it'll take a few moments so just bear with me and uh, once we're in actually it's this is I think this is the fastest time <laughs> I've connected faster than I expected it to connect We're already sending client info <laughs> it's fast um, right so now with that we're in we need to give ourselves admin so so simply go to your console uh, and type ULX not in caps locks of course so type ULX add user space the name of your user remember this this only works if the user that you're giving admin to is connected on your server the other way is through the uh, users.txt and you'd need their steam id anyway so you type ulx add user space name and then and then space super admin and then space one and now I have become a super admin. I could already feel all the superness going through my veins. Alright, so once you are super admin, you could do, well, once you are admin, you could type explanation menu and do all types of fun stuff, like change maps. Um, oh, apparently you could manage groups here. Nice, yeah, so you did not know this. You could create create new groups and give them permissions and stuff through the XGUI. Did not know that, so that is that actually makes it easier for you to create like donator groups and other stuff. So right, so that's how you would that's how you would give yourself admin and access the admin menu on your server. So uh, one thing I did forget to mention is your MOTD. Now of course there's a way to disable it. Um, but if you don't want to disable it and you want to use it, simply just go to your add-ons uh, and uh, double-click the ULX folder and edit the MOTD.txt, the ULX underscore MOTD.txt document. And um, as you can see, this is HTML code. So if you do know HTML, 
um, you can make yourself a nice little MOTD and it will pop up every time the person joins your server in fact you can even add timers and stuff which I will not get into because <laughs> because frankly I don't have much time today so like I believe it's exclamation MOTD yeah there it is so when you type exclamation MOTD this will pop up um and yeah so I think I've gone over every thing you need to know just to give yourself admin and other stuff I guess just the very basics there you can go like there's some crazy stuff you can do with ULX also you can also you can get more like modules for it if you just look for them um, if you have any questions on installing it or like if you get any issues with this you can comment here or you could also go to the uh, go to the ulysses.net website and I think it's ulysses.net let me just double check Yes, ulyssesmod.net, and uh, there you can post your problems in the forums, and the developers would be more than happy to assist you with your problems and issues. So if you learned something new, like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video some other time. So, uh, yeah, have a good day. <laughs> I'm going to go and sleep. I'm very tired.